Hello there friends and internet people and internet acquaintances and accounts and bots and everybody that floats around in cyberspace it is I you know who, who the hell says I anyways it's Adrian and I'm doing all right I'm doing all right I feel mentally insane right now at the moment I'm not gonna lie you know I think everybody else is feeling out of it I mean my god like you know we only have one of the biggest decisions that's gonna be like impacting us in the upcoming years and for like decades ahead but besides all that I've been trying to keep my focus on and ultimately I was finishing ReZero season two at least a little bit at least I had to finish a film and I had to watch a I believe it was Closer, which is a movie from 2004 was uh, Natalie Portman, which, you know, it, it wasn't that bad. I mean, you know, I was mindlessly scrolling my phone, you know, every, every now and then and just trying to keep myself um, in check. But um, I'm trying my best. I, you know, this is like champion. This is like the I don't even want to compare it to a sport or like a form of entertainment because well, I mean, in current contemporary culture, we kind of treat politics like contemporary drama. So that's that's so it goes, you know. But uh, yeah, just trying to keep myself in check. I mean, it doesn't even feel like I'm going to turn 25 tomorrow. I don't even feel like I'm going to turn 25 tomorrow. I don't even feel like a quarter of a century of my life has gone away. But time is like it's 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 a, it's a sneaky bastard, you know. Like it just, you know, you just remember being 18, and all of a sudden, seven years later, you boom. You know, out of your young adulthood. And, um, you know, if I were to tell myself, if I were to look back and tell myself, Adrian, what could you have done better from 18 and 25? You know, I wish I would have just told my 18 year old self, I made a lot, you're going to make a lot of stupid decisions. And, you know, you're going to make decisions that you'll regret. You'll make decisions that, you know, weren't the smartest. But if you don't go through that, then you're never going to learn. <laughs> It's like this, you're doomed to your fate. And like, you're doomed to learn your mistakes that you're bound to take. Because if you don't, you know, 18 year old Adrian was more of a, was way 100% more of a dumbest than 25 year old Adrian. So, you know, I'm just glad to be alive and I can appreciate the sky and whatever happens tomorrow, you know what? There's always, there's always gonna be an action towards it, following it, so. You know what i'm just gonna go back you know i'm gonna celebrate my birthday regardless you know i'm gonna treat it slightly more than any other day you know i'm gonna probably blow my candles a little bit like you know it's a wish and you know just telling myself that things will get better from here on out you know because right now as cheesy as it sounds optimism baby it always helps out but um you know maybe i'll do a season two review of re-zero because you know i think that's that's gonna be my uh like my hopes like looking into the future i really wanted to do a studio ghibli film like recollection of like my critique on like what what do i think about the following movies which would be awesome but um uh school is just like like you have all these ideas and it's just like nah bitch you gotta do this first and i'm like shit i regret being a double major now but regardless um you know we'll, we'll try our best with what we got and how we got it you know i think as you know as cheesy as it sounds the hardest thing about doing something is doing it that's you know that's as much as i can say about anything and it's you know i think we think about more than doing things so you know m more action more you know more ideas but more action too you know but yeah, I think that question about me going back to, you know, telling 18 year old Adrian, what could he have done more? You know, I, I just tell myself, I, I did with what I could. I mean, I work with what I got. And, you know, every day, you know, you try your best. And, you know, it, it might be small steps. It might be, you know, uh, you know, taking out bad habits or maybe reading more or maybe just you know, conversating more or like getting to learn other people or like getting to know yourself or just listening or just like, you know, small baby steps on things, you know, little miracles. Uh, who am I of a motivational speaker? I mean, shit, 25, still in college, have a part time, love with his mother. But, you know, it's it's being the oldest out of like, you know, parents came from Mexico. You know, doing all right. 
you know, learning as things go. So that's what I'm proud about, you know. Doing was what I got, how I got here. I'm all right, baby. But yeah, everyone's all stressed out. And you know, I just finished midterms last week and I did a lot of essays and I'm still doing a lot of essays and doing a lot of readings. Do I owe anything? Oh man, I have to check. And on top of that, my little like video critiques and like, you know, my streaming and gameplay. So we'll, we'll work on that. Uh, should I do a, uh, like, like a mediocre critique? Might as well. I think, you know, like, what, what else do I got to lose, you know? I'm already here. So, you know, I recently watched Studio Ghibli's uh, My Neighbor Totoro. And, you know, I, I enjoyed the movie. Like, when I was watching it, like, it wasn't a movie about thinking. It was a movie about feeling. And, you know, I paid, a clo I paid attention closely to the animation and also the sounds. The sounds in particular. I was reading, when I was watching My Neighbor Totoro, I paid attention closely to the animation and also the sounds. And just like hearing the sound, like, like throughout, I think Japanese f philosophy or like, you know, their society or culture, you know, it has a particular interest in nature. And throughout the film, you can just, you know, you can feel the, the, like the wind and, you know, the, the sound of the rain. Like there's this particular scene, the, the infamous scene where, where the two little girls are, uh, what, what were their names? I'm gonna look them up because I don't want to sound noobish. Uh, let me see. Was it Satsuki? Yeah, it was Satsuki. Satsuki, Satsuki, and Mei. So that particular scene where Satsuki and Mei are like waiting for their dad at the bus stop, and then all of a sudden Toro Toro comes out. And he's just sitting there next to the rain like that was an amazing scene just because due to the fact that it felt like you, you heard it and the rain was just like amazing like they did that they even did the whole and the slight details like when they handed him uh, the umbrella and then you can hear the plastic the plastic of the of the umbrella just hitting the rain and like you know Toro Toro became fascinated by that he's like enthusiastic about it then he kind of like shivers and he like enjoys the sound and like you know i think it's it's one of those movies where it's you need a some movies where you have to appreciate the sounds and like and the movie does a great job on that and then like you know the infamous cat bus who would have thought it? a damn cat bus like you know like i play persona 5 and i'm like oh so this is probably where the origination of that cat bus came it's because you know the association thing but um you know i I was watching it halfway through in dub and then halfway in sub and what I noticed that in sub in particular is just the, the carry way of emotions are like you know it's it's more intense you know maybe I'm just like maybe it's just like this the culture of elitism when it comes with like you know subs and dubs but you know I, I do believe that subs sound a lot better just because it's more emo you know what you know I don't want to be snobbish you know they sound both great but you know I, I prefer watching subs because I'm partially trying to understand what Japanese are saying and like you know I'm trying to understand the language but um it's it's a great like you know it's it's like uh like a Disney movie and like you know it just I liked it I mean transported me to another world and the whole visual aesthetics especially when it's like when the cat bus is kind of like moving along the field and you feel like you're moving along that was that was pretty great but um you know i I'm, i can see why a lot of people like these movies and you just have to appreciate it i mean like you know it's my first time watching it and i i, I sincerely enjoyed it but um it's yeah it's just has to do with the sense of the appreciation of nature and I think that's becoming increasingly depleting because I mean the United States is a completely different culture towards the Asian countries maybe you know, the United States is more materialism um, you know it's more yeah it's more more about materialism consumption it's it's pushing away those we never had those value I mean I, maybe Western cultures appreciate more of the consumerism it's more of that capitalistic 
uh, consumerism and like you know materialism what you got what you're wearing or what where, where you are in status and you know i think the movie did a great job in appreciation of nature but yeah the naps are necessary for me as i'm getting older i'm appreciating naps more like you know like life is crazy man you get older you're getting older adrian shit make the most make the most out of your life i'm trying i really am and um you know i think we're gonna call it a day on the video and until next time i'll be trying to watch re-zero season two try to finish that and probably the, the light novel and that is it for today guys and you know relax please it's not the end of the world or so i hope i'm kidding all right guys <laughs>